So I've had a lot of requests from people on how to add a logo to the header section in their HTML document. And if I get enough questions, I guess it's time to do a video on it. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now we're going to use the fixed layout that we've used in the last several videos, but you could use this for the fluid layout that we did earlier. You could use this procedure in any type of layout that you want. So first thing I want you to do is go ahead and open up your website folder. And I want you to copy the logo that you're going to use into that folder. And let's just go ahead and open this up. And this is the logo that I designed actually in Photoshop quite a while ago. I probably should do a video on this, by the way. But you know, there's never enough time in the day. Now you can use square logos, you can use rectangles, circles, whatever you want to use. I generally like to use squares, but you can use whatever you want. So again, copy that to your website folder. And let's just open up our website here really quickly. And of course, this is where we want to add our logo, right into our header section. So let's go ahead and close this out. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is add the HTML. We need to have that in place. And of course, this is an image, so we can go ahead and just use this IMG code that we already have. Let's just copy that and we'll paste it right up into our header div. There we go. Now, of course, the name isn't Rome.png. We used that in the last lecture. It is logo. And I believe it was a JPEG file. So let's just put that in here. And there we go. So let's go ahead and save this and let's reopen up our web page and just see what this looks like. And there you can see it's way too big for our web page. So we need to shrink that and size it to our header. Now you might be asking, well, why did it do that? Since it was already inside the header, why didn't it automatically size? And that's because we just put in the raw HTML. The browser doesn't know any better. It's going to use the original size of the image. So we need to shrink this at least to the size of the header. Now you could do what we did in the last video. You could go ahead and reduce that in Photoshop or Microsoft Paint. But a bunch of people asked me, how do I do this in CSS? And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So remember that an IMG element, we talked about this a long time ago in the series, is an inline element. In order to center it, we need to convert that to block. And you will remember we use the display property. But first we need to actually create some CSS. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this body rule set. And we'll go all the way to the bottom and we'll just paste this here. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and use the IMG type selector. So that's what we're gonna select, the IMG. And as I said, the first thing we need to do is convert it to a block level element. That will allow us to center it. Actually, you know what, I'm sorry about that, I got ahead of myself. We actually wanna shrink this first. So we need to use the max width and max height properties. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste this in here. I've already got this typed out and I'll explain it. So there we go. We got the max width and we got the max height. We wanna set that to 100%. That will expand it to the width and height of our header section or our header div. And you might ask, well, why didn't the browser know to do that? Well, it doesn't. Again, that was just the raw HTML. Here we are saying, hey, expand this out to the exact width and the exact height of the element that the IMG is inside of. In this case, by the way, it is the header, this div right here. So this now should expand out appropriately in terms of the width and height. So let's go ahead and save everything up and we'll see if this works. And it did. And you'll notice it actually keeps the original aspect ratio too. this little square. It didn't try to make this a rectangle. It'll keep the original aspect ratio, which was a square, which is what we wanted. So that fits nice and neat. Now, maybe you want this logo right here on the left and that's fine. You don't have to do anything at this point, but what if you wanted to have it on the right or you wanted to go ahead and put this in the center? Well, we need to do a couple different things. First, if you want it all the way to the right, we can just float it right. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll just put in float and then right. And let's go ahead and see what we get. And there you can see, it's now all the way on the right. So again, you can certainly go ahead and do it that way if you want it. And some people actually do that. You'll see a lot of websites put their logo all the way on the right, but others will actually put it on the center. You don't see it on the left quite as much, but most of the time it's either in the center or on the far right. So let's go ahead now and I'll show you how to actually center this if you wish to do so. So as I said in the beginning, we need to make this IMG element a block element because by default it is inline. And you will remember that from those videos I did earlier. So let's go ahead and we'll make this a block level element and that will allow us now to center it. 
So we need to use the margin left and margin right properties. And I'll go ahead and just copy and paste those in here. And there we go. And the value that we use is auto. Auto will center it. That's the value that you use. If you use auto, it will automatically center it. So by using auto, basically what you're saying here is, hey, center this all the way from the left and center this all the way from the right. So that's how that works. So let's go ahead now and we'll save this and let's see what we get. And there you see, it's now centered. So those are some of the CSS strategies that you can use when you're adding a logo to your header section.